YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the future number one reaction channel in all of YouTube. How you guys doing? Hope you're having a great day. As always, if you like this channel, like the content, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, join the family we're growing here, man. We are to the moon right now, and I love it. I love you guys. I'm having so much fun. Uh, we got Dax today, dear God, about a year old. Um, hadn't heard this track till recently. And I hadn't heard of much Dax until he's, he's kind of like blown up on on the YouTube platform right now. And in, just in general, blown up a bit. And rightfully so. Super talented. But this song, Dear God, I heard snippets of it. I'm like, oh, this sounds crazy. I got to react to it. So I haven't heard the whole thing. But it sounds like it's very, very deep. I like the premise that he's going for here. And let's react to it. Let's break it down. This is Dax, Dear God. Um, yeah, let's just run it. Dax has, like, very cinematic videos. Puts a lot of time and effort into these videos, you can tell right away. Which I respect, man. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it good, right? Just wanna make this clear. Right away, the beat sets the tone. I don't believe it. Like, right away... The beat sets the tone uh, to how the song is going to be. It's going to be deep. It's going to be emotional. Let's hear what he just said there. Sorry. Just want to make this clear. I don't believe it. But sometimes it gets hard. He just said, I want to make this clear. I am a believer saying he does believe in God, but sometimes it gets hard. So he might be questioning the song, questioning God in the song, right? But he wants to make it clear he is a believer, so. My name's Dax. Dear God, there's a lot of questions that I have about the past, and I don't want to hear it from a human. You made it, so you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask. Tell me what's Ooh. real. Tell me what's fake. Why is everything about you a debate? Why? What's the point of love? Every time I showed it, I was broken, and it's forced me just to only want to hate. Damn, 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 damn. Let's go back. I gotta listen to that again. God, there's a lot of questions that I have about the past, and I don't want to hear it from a human. You made it, so you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask. Ooh. Tell me what's real, tell me what's fake Why is everything about you a debate? Why? What's the point of love? Every time I showed it I was broken And it's forced me just to only want to hate Man, those are such great questions that I ask as well That I think a lot of people ask Whether you're religious or not religious um, You ask that, you ask like Why is there a debate? If this is real, why is there a debate? Why, what, what, what about love? Like what's love? Because like, every time something goes wrong I want to hate Like those are such real questions to ask about life Let's go why is it only one you but multiple religions? Why does every conversation end in a debate? Another great point. Sorry to stop it again, but we're going to have to break this down. Why is there multiple religions? Right? He's saying, like, if there's just God, then why is there other religions that have billions of people that follow them? Like, what is the real religion is what he's saying here, right? And all great questions. Why does everybody want to tell us how to live, but they won't listen to the same damn message that they give? Uh. Tell me how to feel. Tell me what's wrong. I tried to call. Pick up the phone. Pick up on my own. Everybody says you coming back to man. Why the hell's it taking so long? Ugh. Why do I hurt? Why is there pain? Why does everything good always have to change? Why, Why do I hurt? Why is there pain? Why does everything good always have to change? Dax is on another level with this. I love introspective rap. I love rap where you're asking questions, where you're trying to learn yourself as you're rapping. He's, he's like putting out there like what he's struggling with and what he doesn't understand into a song that is so relatable, whether you're religious or not. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let's run this back. I tried to call, pick up the phone, pick up on my own. Everybody says you coming back to man. Why the hell is it taking so long? Why do I hurt? Why is there pain? Why does everything good always have to change? Why does everybody try to profit off another man's work than destroy it just for monetary gain? Oh. Tell me all you black or all you white. I don't even really care. I just really want to know what's right. They've been saying one thing, but I've been looking in the book. And it seems like they've been lying for my whole damn life. Tell me where I'm going. Is it heaven to hell? I just hope this message greets you well. Had a dream that I was walking with the devil. Don't remember how it feels, but I swear that I remember the smell. Look me right. Had a dream that I was walking with the devil. I don't remember how. What does he say there? What does he say? Hold on. Greet you well. Had a dream that I was walking with the devil. Don't remember how it feels, but I swear that I remember the smell. Had a dream I was walking with the devil. Don't remember how it feels, but I swear I can remember the smell. And I mean, that hits on... If you guys ever... Think about this in your life. Have you ever just 
been out doing something and you smell something, whether it's like a deter, even a detergent on, I remember this one time I was, uh, went on a date with this girl. This is totally off topic, but it'll tie in. I went on this date with a girl and I remember like we we're lying on the couch and she was like close to me and I, her detergent or, or soap or something like that. I like smelt it, like could smell it off her clothes. And it was the same like detergent that like one of the first girlfriends I ever had in like grade eight or nine had. And it like in that moment flashed me back to when I was like 13 years old. And it made me think of all those emotions and everything just from a smell. This like the sense of smell can trigger so much emotion in your in your mind and so many memories. So that's just a great line. Sorry, that was a bit of a tangent, but uh, that's what it made me think of. Look me right into my eye and told me everything I wanted could be mine if I gave up and decided to sell. But I said I'd rather die than get mine. Now I'm here. No fear, one man with a story to tell. Dear God, where were you when I needed it? When I fucked up and repeated it. When they set the bar and I exceeded it. My <sighs> Dear God, where were you when I needed it? When I fucked up and repeated it? Is that what he just said? Let's go back here. I don't have the lyrics off. Dear God, where were you when I needed it? When I fucked up and repeated it. When where were you when I needed it when I fucked up and repeated it? Man, that hits on a different level, you know? Like, if there is someone looking over you, where were you when I was fucking up? Where was the sign for, and I kept repeating it. Where where was the sign to say like, hey, you're not, this isn't good what you're doing, stop. Like, where was that sign, right? That's what he's saying, and I think we can all relate to that. We've all fucked up in our lives whether you like to admit it or not, small or big, we've all fucked up and repeated it and learned from it, right? When they set the bar and I exceeded it, my life is like a book that they've been judging by a cover, but have never took the time to fucking read the shit. I remember telling you my goals and my dreams, but you didn't even answer, so I guess you didn't believe in it. Uh. I remember sitting with a gun to my head trying to ask you for some help, but I guess you didn't believe it. I don't. Oh boy. Oh boy. Rewind that back. Let this line soak in. The time to fucking read the shit. I remember telling you my goals and my dreams, but you didn't even answer, so I guess you didn't believe in it. I remember sitting with a gun to my head trying to ask you for some help, but I guess you didn't believe it. He's saying, I remember sitting there suicidal, asking you for help, but there was no answer, so I guess you didn't believe it. Or didn't believe Like, he's saying that he's essentially talking not just about himself, but anyone who's felt like suicidal or really been at the end of the ropes, like, and they're like praying to someone, to something to save them. And how many times none of that's answered, right? He's saying, where were you? Not just himself, but when other people needed you. And like suicide is a, a huge killer of, of people just in our world, right? It's a huge, like almost pandemic in itself of suicide. And he's saying, where are you to help those people? Why is that okay? Why are you going to let those people take their own lives? Right? These are all just, this song is crazy. This song is crazy. I don't want religion, I need that spirituality. I don't want a church, I need people to call a family. Oh. I don't want to tell my sins to another sinner just because he's got a robe and he went to some academy. I don't want to read it in the book, I want to hear it from you. Don't want to learn it in my school because they hiding the truth. Don't want to talk about it to another fucking human being, and that's the only reason that I even step in this booth. Dear God, how do I take this darkness and turn oh. it into light? How do I believe in the concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? How do I know that religion wasn't made just to separate the world and create a whole sky just to keep... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I know that religion wasn't made to separate the world and create a whole sky just to keep us in these chains while the rich get richer and the poor pray to you and perpetuate a lie? What he's saying there is how do I... This is a great question as well. He's saying, how do we know that religion just wasn't created to create divide and create a distraction where the the point zero zero one percent just get richer and then everyone in poverty just argues about religion and 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 believes in something how do we know that it wasn't just a scheme to have control over people especially when you take it back hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago when religion was now religion people are very shifted on it it's very it's a very polarizing thing um but take this back in time religion everyone was religious so how do you know that it wasn't just used as a, a, a mechanism to control society to get people to do the right thing because like like almost to just place fear like if you don't listen to us and if you don't do the right thing you're going to go to hell and he's saying how do you know that that wasn't just created by the people the top 001 percent who just wanted everyone to be sheep right that's what he's asking and that's a great question how do i know this ain't some big joke how can i have faith when there is no uh. how the hell does one man have a hundred billion dollars and we still have people on the street that are broke there's a 
Facts. Man, this song is crazy. I'm so glad I listened to this like the full time, like reacting to this, because this song is crazy. A lot of things I want to talk about and get off my chest. I can't sleep because the devil won't let me rest. I used to know a fucking pastor in a church and I can still hear the screams of the kids he will fucking molest. I used to know a pastor in the church, uh, and he said, I can still hear the screams of the kids he used to molest. Also, a crazy thing is that the the church has such a track record of these priests and pastors and stuff, like, molesting children, which is so disgusting and so fucked up, but it's a real thing. That's like, those are, that really happened and still does happen. These are supposed to be the people guiding you to like a more holy, um, righteous life. And they're there like fucking around with little kids. I mean, Dax, man, this is crazy. This is what music is. This is what music should be. You know, oh man, this hit me on a different level right now. Oh. I'm supposed to fear you, but you ain't said shit. So maybe it's you who actually fears me. I don't know the answer. I just want to see it clearly. So many lies and a thousand different theories. All I want to know is who really made religion. Because I know it wasn't you, but don't nobody believe me. No more lies. No more death. Bring back King. Bring back X. Please do Bring back King. Bring back X. So Martin Luther King, obviously. And X. I think of... Oh, X. I wonder who he's saying with X. It could be Malcolm X. But it could be XXX Tenacion, too. I'm curious to know who he's talking about. There's about a year ago. This is around X's death. It could be both, but since he said bring back King, Martin Luther King, it's probably Malcolm X. But it could be uh, XXX Tenacion, too. Interesting. Dear God, let their souls rest. Protect who's left and watch their steps. Uh. Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. I just hope that you know that I'm still a believer, so I'll end this all by saying amen. Wow. Wow. The visuals are madness. This is crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dax, dear God. Um, that was way more than I expected. That was way more. This might be oh, one of the deeper songs and the most introspective um, questioning songs I've heard in a long, long time, man. Dax, dear God, thank you for that. Thank you for that. That was crazy, man. Wow. I'm going to be thinking about this song for a few days. That was crazy. Um... Yeah, that's a reaction. That's a breakdown. As always, guys, I hope you're having a great day. And uh, until next time, I'll see you around. Peace.